D100 Introduction to Spreadsheets. Let's talk about it. Dear me, three to six months. Watch how I make you proud. Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Xavier. This is Tech Xavier, where I share my journey in tech, both on the career side and the education side. I am a recent WGU graduate and I got my bachelor's of science degree in IT management. And with the help of my enrollment counselor, my program mentor, and really just a desire to get done as quickly as possible, I was able to accelerate and get through the course in about three and a half months. So I started in November 1st of 2022, and I completed my last course on February 16th, 2023. In, in today's video, we're going to talk about introduction to spreadsheets. And this is probably one of the coolest courses that I've had to take because it was a lot less pressure than some of the other ones. This is a two unit course. And let's just talk about what a spreadsheet is. A spreadsheet is essentially what you find through programs like Google Sheets and Microsoft Excel. It is a sheet, a worksheet with all these different cells. And it's usually comprised of columns and rows maybe some tables and possibly some charts. That's really the essence of it. You can use it to create formulas, to represent data in various ways. It's something that all businesses use. And at one point or another, I'm sure you've been exposed to it already. Now, with that said, this course is all about just getting familiar with spreadsheets. So if you are going through the upper division courses at WGU, this might be one you want to start with because this is going to be the foundation of a lot of different courses you're going to take and getting familiar with the spreadsheet, how to import it, how to export it, how to save them, how to perform certain tasks quickly. This course will help you with that. Now, the other thing I want to mention is the relevance to IT. In IT, there are spreadsheets all around. Some of them are really good. Some of them are really bad. So it's important to know how to use information on the spreadsheet, how to interpret the information on the spreadsheet and how to represent and model information in a way that's clear and easy for people to follow. OK, so let's go ahead and jump on over into the student portal and we're going to look at just the overview of the course. On this page, you can see that we're at D100. And this is when the course started for me. These are the competencies here that you have to know. So basic data visualization with charts and graphs, creating, naming, and entering data into tables, introduction to references and calculations, and then getting started with Excel. There's an introduction to workbook and menus. Here's the course planning tool, there's learning, you have assessments, and then you have the instructor information here, announcements, course tips, course search, and course chatter. And then lastly, you can submit feedback as well. OK, so we're going to look at how you can be successful with the objective assessment. And if you're not familiar with spreadsheets or if you've done things one way, but maybe not the way that the course materials lay out, then it's going to be important to do it in the way that they suggest, because you're going to be graded on how well you perform and apply what you've learned in an actual Excel workbook. So one thing I will say is generally with the course materials in this environment, I'm just skimming information, but you don't want to do that here. You want to actually jump in and there are various activities that you can open up in Excel. So you can run an add on in, in your Excel workbook and it will bring up the, my educator app, which is where, what this course is hosted on. And then you'll enter a certain code in the add on. And from there, you'll go ahead and actually launch an activity. And the good thing with the activities is that they have various videos that accompany it. So someone will walk you through what it looks like to actually accomplish that task. It's really cool. So if you have any questions about getting started, this intro is going to be really helpful. So you're going to learn how to set everything up and also make sure that you've downloaded by this time the Office 365 application on your computer. Uh, it is free to WGU students. So if you have any questions about that, you can reach out to the student services team and they'll help you get that set up. So in terms of preparing for the objective assessment, really just want to make sure that you have the Excel workbook set up on your um, computer. So make sure you have it installed. And then really these two exams are pretty similar to one another. So the data is different, but 
the outcomes or the types of analysis are pretty similar. So if you really understand how to do this and you pass it, I really think that you'll ace this thing easily. One thing I do want to make sure you understand is that if you don't enter the right information on the spreadsheet, because generally there's two parts, you're entering data on the spreadsheet based off of doing certain formulas and whatnot. So if you do that incorrectly, then your analysis of the data is going to be wrong and you will not pass the assessment. So take your time, make sure that you're setting up your workbooks the correct way. Make sure you're following the instructions. They, there are multiple steps that you have to go through. So make sure you've touched on each one of those. And the way I did it was when you're looking at your Excel workbook on the right hand side, when you have that add on loaded, there's going to be all of these different directions that you're going to, to follow. And each direction is collapsed. So you want to expand everything that you've completed and leave it expanded so you know that you touched on it or find some way of remembering that you've completed every single thing they're asking for before moving on to the next worksheet. And each activity is defined by various worksheets. So you just want to make sure that you take your time, answer everything, everything, and that you're modeling the correct data. Again, without the correct data, the analysis is going to be off and you will not pass. So that about wraps it up for this video. This is a, again, pretty simple course. And if you're working in data or you plan on working in data at some point or anywhere, this is going to be a really valuable course and it'll help refresh things. If you have experience with Excel, just make sure that you're working in alignment with the way the book lays it out, just so that way you are not missing out on anything or you're not getting dinged for not performing something a particular way. All right. So thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful for you. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you're taking the course, what your experience was with the course. And as always, just know that there are different aspects of school that's going to be hard. The important thing is that you're not hard on yourself, but that you're working hard on yourself and you're taking time to improve habits and the study environment and just sharpening your skills so that the next course is not as difficult as the previous one. <laughs> but anyway, that said, have a great day. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Dear me, three to six months, watch how I make you proud.